you pay attention to how uh, the fabric pulls. So when I twist my arm, the fabric twists around my arm with it. So as his arm is bunched up here, it's creasing in here and it's pulling along the back of the arm. So I know that there are going to be lines up, up here somewhere and here, but which direction do they go in? I'll have to, to work that out. And when you get the bunching, you get a peak. So you get it standing out. Now, that all looked a bit crude because it was like a top-down version of those creases. What really sells those creases are the profiles, when you actually see them wrapping around an object. And when you do anything in 3D, when you're trying to work out anything in perspective, you need to use um, either foreshortening, overlapping, and converging lines. That's, it's simple. Um, quickly, overlapping lines are this object is in front, that's behind it, this one is behind it, that one's behind it, that one's behind that. Okay, so that's overlapping lines. It gives you a bit of three-dimensional space. With converging lines, you know that the, this end of the line is closer to you than this end of the line because it looks like perspective, parallel lines in perspective. Um, and with foreshortening, um, you have a long object which when put into perspective, shortens. So, okay, combine those things to create a wrist. So I stick a layer on top just to show you that. Um, there's a profile, and there's a profile, and there's a profile, right? Those overlapping lines tell you which one is in front of the next one. That's foreshortening. That arm shouldn't be that short. And then there's a profile, and then there's a profile, and then there's a profile. See? That's pretty easy. And what that's doing is just showing you one object is in front of the other. You don't need lighting information. You can actually see that. Uh, with the creases, it's the same thing. If I do a crease here and just bunch it up there, just over the top, and that one comes out after it, and I'll paint that in so you can see the difference. Suddenly, that's, that's a crease, because you can see this object is in front of this object. 